I would like to induce, introduce our guest speaker, retired Chief Petty Officer Travis Rogers. Morning, everyone. First, I want to start off saying how honored I am to have been asked to be the guest speaker for Mickey's pinning ceremony. It's, uh, it is an honor and a privilege, so again, thank you. It's a truly momentous occasion that unless you've gone through the chief season, the initiation process, the acceptance, you'll never truly understand what she's gone through and what we've been there with her for. So guest speaking is not my forte. You know, for being writing four books, I stick to written word, not really the spoken word, so I'll try to do justice to this. Over the last six weeks, Mickey has been tried, tested, and more importantly, accepted into the worldwide brotherhood and sisterhood known as the Chief's Mess. What started as a first-class petty officer receiving news of her selection to Chief Petty Officer quickly turned into a tailspin in a world where she was no longer a first yet not yet a chief. She was a mess of one while trying to enter a mess of many. As any chief can attest, going through season is no easy task, let alone going through it alone as the sole select. But in spite of this additional challenge, Mickey went full bore and tackled it. While the cultural adjustment and the shift in mindset may have had a rocky start, it became evident to all of us that she was going to be a fine addition to the mess. For some guest speakers, their relationships go back possibly years and years with the person standing front and center. For us, it goes back only to 2019 when I served as her departmental leading chief petty officer over at Meadows. With the departure of her senior chief from the command, I was asked to go fill in to assist Chief Guy here with all the sailors that were over there. I was an IT in a land of CTs, but that didn't matter because a chief is a chief is a chief, and we know how to lead sailors and do so effectively. And that's where Mickey comes into the picture. As one of my leading petty officers, she was always there to provide support when I needed anything at all to do my job effectively and efficiently. I could trust that she was going to get things done and get it done right the first time. There was a natural leadership element that she possessed. And I'm sure she can affirm that my expectations weren't always easy, nor were they always fun. But I'm hoping she could also affirm that they were always with the sailor's best interest at heart. I had the pleasure of watching Mickey grow into her position as a, a fairly new first class and new LPO. That was something that was, again, a pleasure to see when you see sailors grow and get to where they are. I said that there was a natural leadership element, and it was this element that slowly became refined as it transformed from a natural element of leadership into an experienced form of leadership. Whether it involved writing performance evaluations or coming to me to say that she needed to counsel a sailor to correct a deficiency within her shop. Again, it was pure joy watching that experience and that confidence grow within her. And Mickey, if I'm being 100% honest, you gave me a moment to pause and reflect a few weeks ago when you were at my house and we were doing the vessel building. I remember Orion was playing with Adina. Uh, you, you can't wait to get back over again. And, you know, they were just having a good time. And you told me you wanted to know how often we get together as a mess and hang out together or hang out over at people's houses. And it made me think the last time they'd been over to my house was the season prior during vessel building and final night. And you told me you didn't want it to end. You were enjoying it so much and it just felt so natural that you wanted that to continue and not stop just because season was over. And it made me think about who we are as a mess. You know, it was a breath of fresh air because we're chiefs 24 seven, active, reserve or retired. And I want you to keep that hunger and that desire to be involved and be part of this, not just as a work family, but as family. So with that, Mickey, I charge you to continue refining your leadership skills and always put your sailors first. Be that chief who is genuine, 
but also be that chief who knows when to speak through a filter. This can only be done properly by knowing your audience. As one of my old chiefs, now a dear brother, once told me, give sailors what they need, not necessarily what they want. And sometimes that'll align, other times they won't. Use discernment as you equip them and lead. Additionally, remember to always communicate effectively. It's easy to say something and have it be interpreted differently by a sailor. Never lie, but that doesn't mean that everybody needs to know every last detail of what's going on. And that's where the filter comes into play, because words have meaning. Choose them carefully and stand by them with the full weight of your anchors. As the chief, what you say carries more weight than ever before. Ensure you not only communicate effectively to your sailors, but also to those appointed over you. Feed the bear or it will come down to feast. The more information you feed your leadership, the less inclined they're going to be to come to your sailors. Run that interference through clear communication. And then, I had a retirement coin made and on the back of my coin, there's a saying that I came up with, an acronym I came up with shortly before retiring, and it was, you know, to effectively lead, instill fear in your sailors, but it's F-E-E-R. Stands for foresight, engagement, execution, results. Use foresight in everything you do. Plan out six months ahead. Be engaged in all facets of your shop. Branch out into the command. Don't just be your local in your shop, sailor's chief, but a chief at the command in the United States Navy. Be that deck plate leader. While being engaged, don't be afraid to make a decision. Don't let analysis paralysis get the best of you. There are going to be moments when you fail, but at least fail forward. Learn from those failures and turn them into future successes. But be sure to execute because there are gonna be moments where all eyes are gonna be on you to make a decision. And if you can combine foresight, engagement, and execution, I promise you that results will follow. Sister, welcome to the mess. Thank you, Chief Rogers.